Okay. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to a poor man's machine gun who sent me this. I can't believe I missed it, but if he hadn't sent it, I would have just, I would have never seen it probably. Um, even though I follow gun Um, I'm going to put it, his link in the description. He's working on some stuff to show why FRTs are semi-auto and how impossible it is for you to tell the difference between that and a regular mill stuck trigger because they're both semi-auto, right? Um, and he's in communication with Lawrence DeMonico, as I understand it, in, in uh, direction on those videos. I'll let him explain on his channel. I don't want to delve too deep into his business because I'm not sure. Uh, and even if I was, it's not my it's his discussion to have with you. Anyway, over on GunLearn, I'm going to go ahead and read this right now. And first and foremost, I'm not associated with any of these entities. This is not any legal advice or any sort of advice. This is just me talking. Uh, that's it, right? All right, GunLearn, the latest on rare breed triggers. I don't have an exact date, uh, but this info is direct to me from one of rare breed triggers owners. ATF rated rare breed triggers machine shop in Utah two to three weeks ago. ATF proned everyone out at gunpoint and took tens of thousands worth of products, etc. Then the U.S. attorney on the case, who had assisted in the issuance of the search warrant, read the letters written by myself and the other retired ATF experts last year, which explains how the FRT works and is not a machine gun. And he refuses to prosecute. This puts the ATF in a precarious position because every other federal prosecutor any place would logically see this as just as unwinnable. By the way, as Facebook is closing this page in five days, watch for future info from us on Rumble, Lindekin, and Gab as either Daniel O'Kelly, Daniel Space O'Kelly, or GunLearn until we get them, them sorted out. All right, and that's the end of that right there. Uh, go follow Gun Learn on those places. It's definitely worth it. And I definitely didn't see this because Facebook obviously was, well, I could have just missed it, but I tend to doubt it. Um, this really, I mean, I, I, I don't want to eat this video up with a bunch of my opinion right now. Excuse me, if you guys want my opinion on this, I'm happy to do a separate video. I want to keep this simple, but I want to reiterate the fact that all this is happening and this is our tax dollars at work on something that, you know, this is a waste of time and money. And if, if you're a pro gunner, look at how your property's being messed with when it doesn't fall under the purview of, of the regulator. Right. Uh, and then if you're an anti gunner, Let's pretend you that, that these are full auto for a second. And that at the very least, the anti-gunners, I'm sure, want to believe they're full auto, like the ATF does. Can the ATF protect you from this new brand of so-called full auto anti-gunners? Not one iota. Not at all. And making laws out of thin air, like the bump stock ban and these 80% bans and all the rest of this, is not going to get you where you want to go. It's It's going to be overturned at some point, but they're going to waste years of everyone's lives waiting for the courts to do it. And life is short. Believe you me, it is. And this is all of our time being wasted. And the easiest example I can give, and then I'm going to stop this video. Even Diane Feinstein, who if she had the choice, would rob everyone and lock everyone up in, in a second for these kind of things. Even she on the bump stock ban when Trump did it. So this ain't going to work. This takes an act of Congress. And I had mentioned before, like, this, uh, what she had said. Because it, it's true. Like, you know, you don't just get to create laws. It's <coughs> especially criminal in this case like this. And, and it's not going to hold up. Just a lot of years will be wasted. And the thing is, for her, as old as she is, she's got one foot in the grave. She'd love to have something like this get through Congress and her be one of the leaders on it to introduce a bill to some sort like this. But instead, the executive branch has stolen their thunder. And more importantly, the executive branch doing this has stolen what it means to have separation of powers and be a constitutional republic. I don't want to get into a larger discussion, but the whole idea is insane. And all these things happening are not serving any side. OK, if, if you want to have a government that that's, has separations of powers and, and, and represent our representatives represent our interests, this this is this isn't how you do it. Uh, just it's contradiction upon contradiction built up. But anyway, 
uh, it, and I don't want to get into COVID stuff, but you know, I, it's one thing stood out when I, I was watching the news the other day and Fauci's talking about, well, this federal judge isn't a medical professional and shouldn't be able to make decisions. How long until the ATF says, well, a, a judge shouldn't be able to make decisions on firearms. They're not firearm experts. Uh, it should be left to the firearm expert community and then take that to every other uh, part of human life and human existence. And the experts and the bureaucracies know better than the judges are the elected representatives, are you. Now, I'm not getting involved in the COVID stuff, I, even though I, I didn't participate in any of that, just so just to be up front. I, I'm, and I won't, uh, ever. <laughs> but the idea here that, that's in play is very telling, and it tells you where things are going and where things have much already been. Uh, and it doesn't really much matter because... You know, it took the courts this long to, to rule on that in, in, in like the bump stock ban, like how it's 2017, 2018, it went into effect. Here it is 2022 going on 2023. Like you'll be waiting forever to get anything done. It just nothing, nothing happens. And the reason I say rare breeds are best shot if it goes to court again is that, which I'm sure some fashion it will, is that rare breed has the greatest chance of getting something in the courts and getting a decision favorable to freedom and, and property rights uh, faster than any of the rest of this, I would say. And I don't know nothing. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not in the, in, in the practice of law. I have no clue. But the rest of this stuff seems to be dragging. If this gets decided, though, I mean, who's going to care about bump stocks once they realize that uh, you can't stop these semi-automatic triggers? Like, these are way better than a bump stock. So there you go, right? <laughs> like, that, that that's going to be dropped and they're just going to accept the fact that they lost on it. And they're going to realize that this redefinition of a receiver in these arm braces are uh, a pointless endeavor to go down uh, because this is all predicated on the same thing as the bump stock ban too. I'm not saying that's for sure, but I say there's a whole lot better chance of all this being undone by the guys at Rare Breed Trigger than any of the rest. And if the dude who owns Slidefire would have had this battle... Uh, back then, like rare breeds doing, none of this may, none, maybe none of this would have ever happened, but he was laughed at. He was basically in a really screwed up position where he had little to no support. And I, to this day, I don't know any of these people. I don't know this guy, but I still don't blame him for walking away from it. And I see, I'm getting off a point. I don't want to do that. Uh, I want everybody to have a good Sunday. Uh, be happy about this. This is fantastic news for us. Okay. Who or pro-property rights and pro-freedom, okay, pro-liberty, because this pretty well tells us that there is a major division between the bureaucracies um, in, in federal government in terms of how they're going to deal with this. And if you can't get the prosecu a prosecutor to prosecute, even after he helps issue the search warrant for these particular items, this is good for us. Anyway, I'm, I'm rolling up on over eight, eight and a half minutes. Holy cow. I'm sorry. If you're still listening, thank you. I hope you're doing good. Uh, again, this is great news uh, for us. And celebra celebrations are short in, in this world anymore, right? So it, it celebrate it while you can because who knows, you know, next week could be uh, even worse. If you want more of an opinion, uh, Put it in the comments. This is, again, way too long. Have a great one, guys. Laters.